um, this evening, the, the way we're going to do it is that um, we're going to have an open, basically an open mic. I've got a mic here. I'm going to walk around, hand the mic to somebody. They get to chat. We aim to keep comments. Please keep your comments to a minute. We're going to have somebody up here with a bell. They'll ring a bell after a minute. And after two minutes, they'll start to really ring the bell. Okay? So I, I get it. It's sometimes hard to focus. So really just stop and think. If you're going to speak, and I hope you do, just you know, pick up the key points that you want to say that you want to communicate. Um, and if everybody who's spoken has spoke, like, who's spoken, that wants to speak, then we can go in a second round and people can speak twice. That way we just kind of get the, the things distributed. <coughs> also, if somebody says, oh, we should plant pineapple in the field, okay, that comment's been said. That's your idea again. Okay, wait, try not to repeat it if it's possible, although I can't control that. Um, if you're more comfortable writing, um, or you want to do both, on every seat, there's a note card and a pencil. Write what you want to write. Sign it is better, but you don't have to. And on the way out, there's a basket. Put the cards in the basket, and what we'll do, the museum will translate, the, uh, write it down, tra transcribe it, and we'll put it on the Future of Thomas Square website so everybody can see. So if the mayor's not here, you want to have him see it, put it there. Just get the ideas out there. Small ideas aren't bad. Sometimes they're the seed of kind of the best things moving forward. Um, as people speak, Georgette Deemer, the deputy mayor, is going to be writing just basic themes, big themes that hopefully we can develop kind of a sense of, here are the 10 things people really care about, or the 50 things people really care about. Um, at 6.50, we're going to stop the conversation, just because I said we'd go till 7, and maybe spend 10 minutes talking about next steps. What are the next steps? You get a couple hundred people together. Thank you again for coming. It's really important. Um, and then we might want to think about next steps. Social media is a great tool, but not everybody's on it. So, you know, and maybe kind of feedback a little bit what's the museum's role in this, if any. Um, before I start, I need a volunteer with a watch with a second hand on it. And their job is to sit right here and ring a bell. Any volunteers? Anybody? Anybody got a watch with a second hand? Does the cell phone work? Uh, yeah, sure. A cell phone's fine. Yeah. Do you want to be the person? Yeah, you can go by. What's that? Sit right here with the bell. Yeah, you can bring your sign too. <laughs> then you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when she rings the bell, it's not then go. Um, so that way, just after after a minute, just ring the bell once, and after two minutes, they're ringing a lot. After three She's also facilitated uh, discussions in uh, general assemblies that do occupy. And you can test it on on um, me. I'm going to read my statement first for a minute. I'm going to actually just go, we'll, we'll pick something random. A bunch of people are trying to signal me. Like, Let me talk first. Um, so, you got it? Okay, so my minute. I'll start now. Uh, my role I'm playing today is director of the museum. I'll be direct. We have three goals. These are three institutional goals. One is to have a park that's well maintained and that does justice to the history of the park. Two, as a museum, we hope that art will be included in the vision for the park but I don't yet have a sense that there's a community consensus that that's the right thing. It may be or may not be the right thing. And three, here's a little secret agenda. We also hope that there's a master plan for parking for the entire area. Ideally, we would like parking to be centralized at Blaisdale and then have people, guests to the museum, walk across the park. Of course, the city has a lot to say about parking, but ideally, the guests would learn about the historic importance of the park while they walk through a beautiful, selling, well-maintained park. That's what I hope for. How did I do it? Uh, 48 seconds. 48 seconds. Okay, yeah. great. So we'll just randomly start here.